Hello, Evie. How are you? Hi, Lotus. I'm good, thank you. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us about your area of research? Uh, hi, my name's Evie. I'm originally from the Isle of Wight and I'm a compare funded PhD student at the Universities of Birmingham and Nottingham. And my research project focuses on using a lot of different microscopy techniques to look at how receptors are organized um, on the cell membrane and how the actin cytoskeleton, which is a structure within the cell, might start to affect this. Why is that research important? Well, the receptor family that I'm looking at in particular, the adenosine receptors, are part of a bigger group called the GPCRs, or the GP G protein coupled receptors. So these receptors are actually super important clinically. Over a third of drugs target a GPCR. So if we can understand better how they behave under normal circumstances, then we might be able to modulate um, in a more clinical manner. So obviously my work's a lot more grassroots. We're just trying to understand the fundamentals, but in the future, maybe that can be built upon. That's very interesting. And uh, what progress have you made so far? So using a technique that looks at receptor clustering, um, I've shown that two different adenosine receptors can respond a bit differently when you stimulate or when you disrupt that actin um, cytoskeleton structure, um, which is really interesting because it suggests that two really closely re related receptors might be regulated a bit differently. Um, but I'm also putting together some techniques to look at this in a much more dynamic way so we can follow it almost in real time. That's good. And um, tell us, what do you enjoy about the research? Okay, I, it's definitely really, really nerdy, but I enjoy seeing all of the um, cellular structures like the actin mesh or watching a receptor move across the uh, membrane because every time you see that you just remember the scale of what you're looking at and that it's all happening that fast within all, every cell of your body um, and I also think that the microscopy community is a great place to be in biology at the moment and um, because there's so many developments happening all the time a lot of research is coming out and a lot of cool methods and um, yeah it's just a really fun place to be working. Good. Finally what is your longer term ambition? I think my longer term ambition is to stay in the microscopy field. I'd really start, like to start applying these advanced techniques to a lot of different biological questions. Because I think as a, a field as a whole, we need to start treating advanced microscopy as an assay, just like a biochemical assay. So if you've got a really pointed question, then advanced microscopy can be a super powerful way to look at it. That's good. Good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Evie. Thank you. Bye. Right.